What's up ladies and mushroom tips and welcome to episode 2 of the DR200 Rebuild Series and in this episode we're going to get right into the guts, fist deep, and we're going to dive right in and uh, go ahead and break open the motor on this one. So on my little manual here, um, there's a section called cylinder and basically it is telling you how to put it all together, right? So what I'm going to do is start right here and show you basically where it's uh, tightening on the top bolts. And I'm going to work my way down and uh, hopefully get to my piston where you see right here. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and seat our new piston, throw our top end back on, inspect anything going on, and uh, hopefully be back in business. So what we're going to do here is remove most of these bolts, remove this head cover right here, give us access to these rod bolts right here, and uh, yeah, just giving you a closer look on that. Thankfully we got the manual so we know which orientation and which bolts that we got to go ahead and take out of this bad boy. So let's go ahead and follow the puzzle and see how it goes. Well. What's cool is the manual even gives you orientation on what, start, what screws to start on, so it's even telling me to start on uh, these two guys right here. These look like they're all tens, right? Let me see. Yeah. Now let's break off this head cover. Go ahead and start underneath right here. God damn. Man, these bolts are fucking tight. Alright, so we got the first two valve cover bolts off. Next we got these ones right here. Oh, four is this fucking top top one right here. All right. Ouch! Fuck. I think I'm gonna switch to the bigger one with more leverage, like a fucking smart person. And then number five is gonna be this back one right here. Get that shit nice and on there. Oh yeah, this one's got way more leverage. Six is gonna be this guy right here, in the front. Put you on there and voila. Seven will be the back side one. All right, and then I think we finish up with these two big boys here. Man, these are really, really, really torqued down, shite. There we go. These ones aren't showing as ones I have to remove right here. So I think it's just all these. And just to make it a quick, little quicker. All right, so I'm gonna line these things up. I'm gonna try to line these guys up in order as I take them out of the head. Oh shit, my go camera. All right, hopefully I don't have to take these out, but the manual doesn't say that I have to. All right, so, so far I've removed the 10 bolts. I cleaned up this a little bit, just to make sure there's no dirt to fall in the motor or anything. Um, but uh, I got all the bolts off, so I'm assuming we, could, we should be able to just lift this right off now. Oh yeah, those two bolts didn't need to be removed. They were for my rockers right here. Something tells me that uh, this motor might have been open before because look at this shit. I'm not sure if this is like that fucking homemade gasket shit, but I know this couldn't have come from Suzuki like this. That's for damn sure. Ah, oh, interesting. Interesting. Look at this. All this old shitty gasket here. 
All right, Pistons top dead, just to triple check. But uh, how's my valves look? Cam chain's good, not taking off. That's a really, really good sign. So what I want to do now is mark my chain so that it kind of assists me a little more when I'm uh, taking it off to, uh, or I mean reinstalling it on the motor. I did hear about people doing that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it as well, just to uh, just to help myself a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, this dude literally had some fucking homemade like 99 cent store Costco ass shit. And look at the bolts inside. Look, there's a stud bolt in there, and then a regular ass bolt right there. Dude, this thing was torn apart already. All right, now according to the manual, cylinder head cover. Talking about the dowels. Bend up the washer tongue positively to lock the bolts talking about these oh let's talk about the other side of the uh where the cam chain is so it's looking like now we gotta take i didn't even notice these bolts are here but i gotta these are like your cylinder base nuts there's two that are downwards and then there's two of these guys right here so uh we're gonna go ahead and take those out since those are the last step to tighten down i mean i'm assuming those are the first step to open up and then these two and these two all right so uh been a little bit not a little bit just the next day and uh had to do a little research on this head here i just like i said i want to make sure i'm doing everything right and uh this cam chain I, this is where i was a little confused because i didn't know if i had to twist my um my uh magneto or not and get it out of do top dead center so that's where i was a little fucked there so here i'm gonna go ahead and just lock my shit in place we're gonna go ahead and um go ahead and loosen this guy up and uh, we're gonna take this clip off from what I saw these clips they bend so I'm gonna have to get oh I got pliers right here next to me do some pliers and let's see if those bend easily all right so I managed to get these clips loose I just like very gently hammered them down so now I have access to these uh, cam chain bolts so now I should be able to go ahead and break them free I know these are gonna be like really fucking in there so let's see if I can get them by hand with this little one if not I'll have to take out the old specialty tool okay all right there's that one And here's a better look at the clip I was telling you about. It's got these two bendable ends right here. I'll probably just end up reusing this one. So I got this thick gauge heavy spool of wire. And I'm actually... <laughs> this, is sound, this is like pretty fucking get up. I'm actually going to spool this around. And then try to uh, hold it in place. That way it has some sort of weight leverage on it. And we could uh, keep this chain kind of off to the side. Alright, let's see if we can pull this off. Rocket. Is Cam gonna come off now? Let's see. Yep, there it is. And there's our cam lobe right here. And then there's a C clip right here. There's how your cam spins right here. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna try to carefully remove this C clip right here. Move all this to the side. Alright, so now that we got that done, I think I gotta get these four screws underneath. So these screws hold, I believe, my head on. This is gonna be the bottom jug part, it looks like. 
This is going to be my top portion. I think that might hold this on. And then we got these four bolts up here that are on top of the head that I got to remove. So uh, I think I'm going to start on these top ones. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, get to these guys. Or actually, according to the manual, these look like they're the last things you tighten. So I'm going to go ahead and use these as my like, first things I loosen. So let's go ahead and loosen these guys up. Didn't come off too hard. I did spray these nuts down with some uh, WD-40 before I started, so maybe that helped a bit. Alrighty, so now that we got the uh, those done, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my four um, cylinder bolts up here. Yep, 12 right here. It looks like do and do. A, B, oh no, A, B, B, A. Okay, so these have like, it looks like certain copper washers or some shit. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep them off in order. That one, go ahead and do this one next all the way over here. here try to do them in a cross pattern uh, there's that one and then this last one over here these bolts are always a little that one, break it. Wash through there. Yeah, there we go. Nice. All of them got off nicely. All right, go and carefully take these guys off. Keyword careful. Making sure I keep the washers that ha that had on there, like the copper. There's like two copper and two steel, so I kind of want to make sure they're the. I keep them all together. See now, I'm wondering, do I have to? I think I have to take off this cam chain guy. If I'm not mistaken. I'm using a rubber mallet here, so I got these off. Let me double check. Got these four off. So, see if this even comes up a bit. Double check our manual here. I did find the part where it had the uh, the cam chain part right here. All right, I'm gonna unscrew this fucking guide and rod now. I didn't want to like bend my rod, so I had to put the cylinder back down real fast. Just a little taparoo here. Boop. There we go. Break that bolt. And cam chain tensioner out. There she is. Damn, look at that shit on there. Alright, now that that is off, let's see if we can't get this fucking head off. Oh, 
there we go. Yeah. Woo. Head removed. Oh my, that piston is nasty. There we are, boys. Look at piston showing. Head off. Look at that. Now I'm going to spray that shit with some carb cleaner. Clean that shit all out. Gaskets don't look in bad shape, actually. Might just clean these off and reuse these, because the one it gave me, it only gave me a single one. And this one's like a three-ply one. So, it's not ripped or anything. Alright, now we should be good to uh, go ahead and come on down to the piston. Ooh, just a cam chain guide right here, I'm assuming. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this uh, cam chain tensioner right here. Damn, that gasket just broke in literal half. Oh, that sucks. I don't have a gasket for this, so there's a part I'm gonna have to fucking uh, order right there. Unless I just put some make a gasket around that somehow. Alright, so as of now, I should be free to go ahead and take the jug off. Alright, so I think there's gonna be another job for the old rubber mallet. Let's go ahead and get this baby loose. Oh my god, we're in boys. We are in. Here we go, there's the inside of our cylinder. I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be a lot worse than this. Oh, I see the big one right there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's like it's like a uh, thick one right here. That must have been where I was hearing that. Here she is, boys. After all this time, we're in the guts. Man, that piston was a door toy. That is a really dirty piston. But uh, I think I got to go make a trip to the store now because now I got to buy me some, uh, I'm going to get me some gasket and uh what else do i need to get oh and some fucking wire brushes to clean my shit so uh we're gonna continue back after that and uh i'll see you guys then all right so here we are in our new piston and our old one now here's the old one and uh the rings don't look too bad on it but uh i mean who knows the rings could be bad on the uh the top end or um just maybe not sure what could be shot but nonetheless it's getting a new top end so i'm gonna go ahead and ring this one same principles apply with the like the grown we're gonna do a 120 degree stagger on the top rings then we're gonna have a, our put our oil rings on first and then once our oil rings on we're gonna put our spacer rings on in between those so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now all right so the rings went on absolutely flawlessly on this made sure my piston oil ring wasn't overlapping uh got my ring staggered up and down and uh this piston's ready to get thrown in the bike Trill. And there's that major scoring in the cylinder that you saw. And that had to have been that, that high-pitched squeaking noise that I would hear. So, let's just hope it was my piston that went bad. And not nothing with my rod or anything. Alright, so let's fucking get started getting this damn piston out, shall we? Just like the last bike, we're going to go ahead and get these piston clip rings out right here. And... From there, we're gonna just take these bad boys out. Oh 
Oh, that was fucking easy. <laughs> this game a little bitch to come out for some reason. Well, there we go. It's off. True. Hopefully, uh, this tiny, tiny little bit of play ain't gonna be bad. All right, so let's get this fucking new piston put in, shall we? So we're using some Lucas assembly lube. I'm gonna lube the living shit out of the uh, inner portions here, where our uh, little dealima bob here is gonna slide through. And uh, after that, we're gonna go ahead and install her into the dealie. I don't know why, but this smells like court grease from like when I used to play clarinet when I was a little kid. Alrighty, so we got that. Right, so I'm gonna thoroughly coat this. And we're gonna slide her on in. Let's see how this works out. Shit, I slid in like a fucking glove. And then we got our clip in right there out of the way I inserted a clip first and then uh, we were able to put it on and then once I uh, put my new jug on I'm gonna put it on um, right over this and I'm gonna hold my compress my rings so now I'm gonna go ahead and oil up all the outside touching parts of the cylinder or the piston here after I put my C clip on the other side that is these are your C clips right here they simply go in the uh, opening part right here clip in and it keeps that rod sit, uh, really still inside so right here our things push through we're going to stick our c-clip in there now you don't want to put it the opening where this opening is you kind of want to go put it like kind of like that but um we're going to go with the starter in there like this man these ones have this like little lip that you can grab and it makes it a thousand times easier Clipped right in there. There we go. Boom and boom. And now our piston is fully installed, baby. Twill. And like I said before, we're just gonna go ahead and lube all this, all these touching surfaces of our piston here. All this goodness. Think of it like you're giving your bike a sensual massage. Like Austin Powers, you mean a sensual massage? Oh yeah, she's nice and lubed up on there. Giving my bike a sensual massage. All right, we got ourselves our new gasket here. I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up all this uh, surrounding surface here. What the fuck is that sound? Where there's like crackheads always around me at any given moment in time. Seriously. Alright, so let's get this bad boy on here. Boom, boom, boom. Shaka laga laga. This wire ended up working pretty well for me, actually. So we got our gasket, piston fully installed. I think we're good to throw the jug on now. And this dowel pin is like really stuck in there. So now I'm gonna have to turn the camera off and uh, have fun getting that out. So I'll check back in with you guys when I'm done with this. Uh. All right, ladies and gentle tips. It's been literally two days since we last had our little dowel pin issue here with that guy right there. And as you can see, I tried miraculously to get this shit off. Even bought PB Blaster. I did literally everything in the book and couldn't get that out. So I had to go ahead and order me a OEM one from the internet, which was actually not a fun task to try to find. But in the process, I went ahead and cleaned my carb out completely. That'll be on another episode. My piston's been sitting here for two days like this. Uh, just been keeping everything nice and covered and clean. Also, this thing 
Uh, I did the whole drilling out things using a chisel. This thing doesn't spin for nothing. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with this. I saw a whole new cover with this on eBay. I might have to just get that. I got one of these coming in the mail as well as an OEM knock pen for this. And, uh, until then guys, thank you for watching DR200 Rebuild Series Episode 2. I'll get you guys updated as soon as these parts come in and we'll continue on with our uh, lovely DR200 Revival Series. Thank you guys for watching so much. I love yous. I appreciate yous. And you guys have a, a real good day. See you guys next time. Choo!